And so we get to, to the day we've all been waiting for. All the dress rehearsals, all the practice, all the warm-up and all the pre-season is done. It's time to the serious business of Wafa Wafa. It is uh, two teams that have won the title four times between the two of them that uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe today. The Monful Golden Arrows of a Fona Best Tender take on Matsatsanza Apitori. The coach is still also trying to decide on their best um, combinations. You know, it's coming so soon after. It's almost like a pre-season tournament in itself. But uh, you have to hit the ground running and wow, that was uh, just a glimpse there of the quality that made Bradley Grobler last season's top goal scorer. Finally, that uh, golden boot that has eluded him in seasons past, uh, including the season before, uh, he managed to lay his hands on that one. A lot of possession of Arrows, but they need to start making a count and uh, test uh, Ronwin Williams. I think they've, they've lost the grip of that possession that you're talking about because we see more of the super sport team. Bude, testing Mluana, who is uh, equal to it. A great uh, football all round on target by Sipon Bule and a great save from the junior international and uh, South Africa's Olympian, Swiss of Mluana. Penalty? No. Oh, yes. Is it a penalty? Give it. Give it. He has pointed to the spot. The man was going the other way. But he fouled him. He was fouled. You know, the foul was in the box. Sibia was heading in the wrong direction. But there was contact. It was in the box. And a dramatic start here to the second half here. What is what? To give arrows. A the lead and Ronan Williams gets a tackle on it but can't keep it out. Enough power. It's the power that takes it past him. That's how you want to do it. If the keeper gets a touch, make sure you've hit it hard enough that you can't stop it. And it's arrows. The home side take the lead. Oh, dangerous there. Very dangerous and good recovery. And came into the rescue there was uh, Ronan Williams. McQueen still taking them on once they return there still going here chance for super sport to equalize yes. oh well worth goal and well worth goal and while it's no less than they deserve they've been showing a little bit more urgency and the subs have made an impact as well Mukwena did all the spade work and Lungu applies the finishing touches Takes a deflection, Almost. takes a deflection of the wall, corner. That was goal bound for yes, sure. Yes, it was. You could tell from the intention. Once he started yeah. tying those laces, the technique was there, the confidence. It comes out of one of the players. I think it's William Sweeney. Duandre. Yes. Look at that. This could be possibilities here for Super Sport United. It's Raiders, another sub that comes off the bench to give Super Sport United the lead for the first time in this game. Quick, quick break there. The pace of Raiders and the fresher legs come into the fore. And that is a superbly worked goal, Brian Martin. This is it now for Arrows. This is a very good position. Needs a quality ball. And it comes! And they found it! They found an equalizer! Great ball! And when they needed it, Michael Kumere finds the equalizer! And it is not over until it's over! Stevo Mukwena. Oh, and it's saved by Mluana! What did he just say? Huh? Exactly. Just a point to the best. Don't go on the keeper makes a save again. It's a poor penalty. Too close to Ronald, Ronald Williams. Raiders oh, and he's ballooned it. Hero to Billy. Michael Kumere. Perfect. Beyond the reach of Ronald Williams. 
Garza. And Gumete, twice a hero. He seals the deal. And the Montful Golden Arrows advance to the semifinals of the MTN8. Well, let's confirm it for you then. After 120 minutes, going the distance, the first quarterfinal of the MTN8 for 2021 goes the way of Lamontville Golden Arrows, winning 4-3 on penalties. Coach Andre, huge disappointment here this evening for Super Sports United, who've been participating in this competition and to exit as this early. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling a bit emotionally drained, um, and 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 so for the players, I'm, uh, more than anything else, because I thought they put in such an excellent shift today. Um, we we can't be anything but proud of, of of them and their performance today, every single one of the, of the players. So it's very difficult to single out one of them, um, but really am proud of them. And what the, a tournament like this and, and competition like this gives them is is you know it's, it's minutes in the tank. Um, when you're stepping into a new season like we have ahead of us, and that's what the that's what the boys needed today more than anything, and and, and they gutted that they didn't um, progress to the next round, uh, because I thought they gave their all today. I thought we defended bravely. Um, you know, errors were always going to give us a tough time um, up the top end, and we needed to defend. Uh, uh, you know, um, bravely and, and and also just to make sure we we got narrow and, and keep our shape. And they forced us to um, to concentrate a lot in defence. And I thought the guys were really excellent today. And of course, this is the very first game of the season and the long pre-season for Super Sports United as well. But it seemed a bit lethargic for Matatanza Pitor this evening. Yeah, I, th I think when you when when the first game of your official season kicks off and you've got to go into extra time, it, 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 it's taxing on the legs. Um, you know, it really it really sort of uh, uh, it tests you. And I thought the guys that came on played their part as well, um, uh, opened up the game for us a bit more, took it a bit to the next level. Um, and I thought in the end we were very lucky, to obviously, to go two on up and uh, you know concede late on. Uh, it's the nature of the game, and you know these are all learning moments for us, and we need to take all of these situations and put it into our season ahead. And that's important for us to understand. Also very disappointing to note that Super Sports United have enjoyed a healthy appetite when it comes to the MTN8. This early exit gives you now more focus into the league? It does, it does. We start as soon as next week and, 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 and of course we've, we've got to shift that focus now. Um, you know, a big part of our job now is to, is to help them with that focus because, uh, you know, I, everybody can tell the boys are down about it because, um, you know, they obviously we wanted to progress in the, in the tournament itself. Um, but these things happen in the game and we've got to deal with it. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, you know the, we'll lose more games as the season goes on. That's the nature of the game. But I think what, 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 what we can take away from this particular game today is the work ethic. Um, and we ask that of the players every week. And today they did not disappoint with their work ethic. So we're very proud of that. Coach Arendt, hard luck for the early exit and good luck for the remainder of the season. Thank you very much. Thanks. Coach Siema, congratulations on a tough fight here this evening. And of course, going through to the next round of the MTN8 competition against a side which has a very healthy appetite in the MTN8. Yeah, I was Tato. And uh, first of all, I must say, Thanks to the Almighty. I think the spirit that was in these guys, you could see it was the fighting spirit, togetherness, and the hunger. But all credit must go to the players. Look, at, the, at, at this stage, I think they won, them, they won this game alone. The fight that was there, the fire that was burning inside them. And what more can you see? But coming to the game, you can see it's the first game of the season. He, there were moments that watch us after three, four, five games. Teams, they will suffer if we get such moments. But we build on. One thing that we are happy of, except to saying that we are in the second leg, we're going to have another two games or more. So the more we play games, the better we get, the more we can rectify. So we are happy that we managed to go to the second round. At some point in time, it seemed like a golden arrows were all but out in extra time. But uh, right at the end, that fight that you're speaking about uh, proved that the golden arrows is a different team this season. Look, patience. We never we tried one or two, but we could see that they were winning everything. Then we, we said, okay, let's re let's be calm a bit. Let's be patient again. Let's try and get them on the sides again because they were becoming compact now in front of the goals. And then we got a foul there. We got a foul. More of the side, but we knew that the way we are, once the delivery is good there and we'll be able to score. And the changes that we did, we, we, 
Unyubeko, they worked very hard and they were tired. The changes that we did, not, none of the changes was, was defensive. We tried and give, we take the game to them and then we guide and give more offensive players and then be more offensive. And I think at the end it paid up. And oh, what, 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 what a goalkeeper. It's, 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 it's something that when it's nice when you practice things and then you see them coming out at training. And at, at, at the match, mm. then it gives the player the courage that we are on the right direction. And he might not have played in the Olympics, but he's still sharp. And we must thank the national team. He's coming back. He's still OK. The guys that were here, they were also working. But we are glad that we are through to the next round. History continues for Golden Era's last season, finishing fourth in the league this time around, through to the next round of the MTN8 competition. The first time they've done this uh, since that season in 2009 when they won the MTN8. I think I was still even playing by then, <laughs> and yeah, what the way of doing it. Look, like we are saying, we are not even looking at that way that we haven't done it in a long time. The only thing that we want to do is to prepare well and make sure, that because we know that uh, it's going to be a tough season. But now, the more you get a little bit more games, especially now in the beginning, now you can rectify a lot of things, the guys can get used to playing, and then you can get some combinations going. So. Well, of course, we are ready for, for the next round, but we, we have zero points when you look at the log. So it's going to get tougher and tougher, but we are ready for it. I'm happy for the guys because this fight that they, they uh, saw today, if they can fight up until the le end like they did today, I definitely something will give. And I'm happy with it. The rustiness, decision-making, especially in the final third here and there, we got the chances, they lose the ball. I mean, opponents lose the ball where we can, we know that when we win this ball here, we can hit them. Mm. We won it, but it, there was not that a second game where we can say, but it's things that we can work on. And I'm happy that we are through to the next round. Congratulations, coach, and good luck in your start of the league against Maritzburg. Thank you very much, Abstato.